and welcome back to Dozzy's Television Workshop where today I'm being chauffeured to Retrotech. Ladies and gentlemen, the very picturesque town of Morton in the Marsh. Oh. <laughs> Except for this. That's the uh, town. Right? Yes. The mermaid fish bar. Coming up on the right is where my grandmother lives. The right old age of the one. The show for today is the lovely Colin. Say hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. And uh, we're accompanied by Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, he's uh, ensconced in his telephone. So our first stop this morning is Gilk's Garage. Now a cafe for a fryer. Well, we're here, but we're just struggling to park. Um, nobody appears to be organising the parking, and it's just uh, a little bit silly. Right, well, me and Charles are going. Hello. Uh, and there's lots to see, so uh, let's have a look. Hello. Loads of people we know. Excellent. Oh, he's found it. Let's go. I'll fly off a TX9. I've got to go. Uh, has it been sold? You want your graphics equalising, Charlie? You've got everything there for you. Yes. You could have all your graphics equalised at that point.
Right, back in the workshop with my NVCF or Retrotech haul. And uh, what have I bought? Well, I've got a couple of cute little Panapet AM radios smiling away there at me. These are medium wave only, National Panasonic. Ah, quite nicely collectible in their own way, I suppose. They've got these keychain sort of arrangements. Uh, I think there were five colours. I've managed to pick up a red one and a blue one. Um, I think there's sort of a, a sort of uh, leafy green or, or white or cream and an orange. So uh, maybe I'll get the others, but they seem to fetch a fortune on eBay. And to be quite honest, they're not great performers and I've probably paid too much for those. But uh, they were great sellers, two different sellers, and uh, they were really fun to deal with. So that that's nice. It's always nice to deal with nice people. So uh, that's the Panapets. I'll just put those down there for a moment. Uh, the annual can of Deoxit from uh, the BVWS stall, the British Vintage Wireless Society. So, uh, yeah, we've got a new can of that. Um, interestingly, same price as it was last year. So uh, that, that's nice. Um, there we are. Uh, I also picked up the camera tube, which hopefully we can graft into the... 405 line camera picked that up from uh, John Joe from the Irish Vintage TV channel he was there it was lovely to see it was a bit of a social event really which is why I didn't get much video footage but um nice to see a few people how did Kev be I put a face to a name there um Phil we saw I think he's a subscriber so hello Phil uh, John Joe of course and Michael Dranfield one thing that amazed me about Michael Dranfield is how tall he is Everybody looks shorter on the telly, but uh, yeah, he's a tall lad. There we go. And the piece de resistance of the purchase was this wonderful um, Ferguson movie star. as a TX9, allegedly working, 20 quid. Came with a spare chassis. Mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, got that. Um, I have to say, uh, in the photographs you've just seen, did you spot the uh, Marconi, I think it's a 703, isn't it? That somebody sort of lovingly recreated, but it had a little nine inch square screen in it. And apparently he's bought it every year for, for a number of years. And I've just never seen it before, but I thought that was wonderful. Not to everybody's taste, but uh, let's face it, we all haven't got uh, four or five grand for an original one. So that was nice to see. Yeah, um, I think uh, the thing we need to do here is plug this TX9 in and see if it's a runner, shall we? Yeah. Right, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. I've got it hooked up to the mains. I just want to switch Pi Pat Gen on. That's going. <sighs> place your bets. Five, four, three, two. Uh, I want some main switched on. Try again. Ready? Five, four, three. I've still got nothing showing. Why have I got nothing showing? There we go. Now we've got power. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's come on. Looks like I might even be sort of semi-tuned in. Oh, we are. No colour because we're just off frequency. Well, that looks all right. Got a bit of a uh, bit of a purity problem there. We have got a shade of low height. But yeah, that purity looks rather unusual. Um, have I got a purity? <laughs> yeah, you can see we have some very wild colours there. Um, maybe we have. A magnetization problem. Maybe it didn't degauss when it came in. Didn't sound like it did, but of course it's been uh, dragged back from Coventry. Just reaching around in my box from a degaussing coil. And let's have a psychedelic light show and see if it bucks its ideas up, or perhaps it's got uh, perhaps it's got some issue with the tube. Let's hope not. Right. Let's give it a bit of a degauss, see how we get on. 
Oh, that's better. Look at that. Uh, we still got a bit of a low height issue, but hey, we can solve that. Oh, it's lovely. That's not too bad at all, is it really? <laughs> well, they didn't lie, did they? That's working a treat. Got any sound? Yes, we have. Wonderful. Well, there we go. Right, I think that about does it for this uh, interim retro tech report here from Dozzy's Television Workshop. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Click like, subscribe, do all that rubbish, and I'll see you really soon here on Dozzy's Television Workshop. Cheers now. Bye.